very excited to be finally revealing the program for the 2017 film festival with 242 feature films and 128 shorts in the program. It's another very exciting year. Absolutely, and I want to watch all of them. So, <laughs> very excited about that. Um, my first question, there's been a revolution on screen, and I'm not just talking about technology recently, but what do you think that contemporary cinema is doing to keep audiences surprised? Well, I think that we're seeing really great and very inventive uh, films coming through uh, from a range of different filmmakers. I, I would point immediately to Downsizing Alexander Payne's new film that screens as one of our headline galas, which is a film that addresses some very big issues like uh, climate change and immigration, but does it in the most surprising, most playful and most visionary way. So I think, um, you know, one of the things that I've noticed this year in the program is that there are a lot more filmmakers who want to tackle big issues, but want to do that in a way that is um, surprising and creative. So yeah I'm 17 and my film club starts at the age of 15 and we're currently trying to narrow down the films that, that we like, we'd like to program but um, are there any absolute must-see films that you would recommend? I think that Todd Haynes's Wonderstruck is a very magical film that looks at the experience of two young deaf people whose worlds uh, collide, but one is set in um, the past in, and done like a 1920s black and white silent film, and the other is set in 70s New York. So it's incredibly creative in terms of its filmmaking, but a very, very um, powerful story for young people. And you've been programming the festival for years now. What kind of changes, absolutely years, um, what kind of changes have you seen in the film submissions that you get? I think the festival each year goes from strength to strength in terms of uh, more uh, international films, more um, significant, diverse uh, cross-section of films each year and there's lots of little changes that you see in that. But one of the things that excites me the most, even though we're still not at um, an equal footing in terms of women behind the camera, but this year for example we have 25% um, of the programme of films that are directed by women and that's pretty sounds pretty ordinary when in my view it should be 50 50 but um, you, you know when you look at the commercial sector and only 13 percent of films released in the UK are directed by women uh, we're sort of punching above that um, I think it's very important to talk about this and especially with young people because it's um, uh, very essential that everybody has the same kind of opportunity to get behind the camera and uh, that to me also can then be reflected in the sort of diversity of stories that um, that we get to see, so I think what we what we do see is that as um, uh, as many of the countries who um, support uh, you know have filmmaking in infrastructure and support diversity, we are seeing more diverse films come through, and so there does I think need to be a correlation between who gets supported to be behind the camera um, in terms of uh, how we then get to reflect um, the the sort of um, the, 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 sto the stories that are important to people. Absolutely, no, completely agreed. Something I'm very passionate about as well.